We are still in our first hour and oh boy, this is an entertaining show this morning. Good morning and welcome. This is your now morning show. And this morning we are talking about International Girls in ICT Day. We have with us this morning Miss Candine Frank on the line. She is a solutions analyst at TITL, that's Tobago Information Technology Limited. <laughs> Good morning Miss Frank, how are you? Good morning and I'm great and you? I'm wonderful. Thank you for asking and thanks so much for being with us this morning on the show. Now, International Girls in ICT Day, not many people know about this day and that's one of the reasons why we need to have this conversation. So tell us a little bit about what your um, career is like and what your path was like to get into this field. Okay, so good morning again, everyone. Getting into ICT for me was, um, how to put it? At first, I wanted to be in the normal female-oriented jobs, all right? Then I attended a career fair in 2008, and I realized that the IT field or the ICT field, it's a very interesting place to be. So much can be achieved from using technology. At the beginning, it was a bit challenging since it's a mainly male dominated field. However, I like challenges and I decided that I will put my foot in this. I would try and see where it takes me. So tell us, Ms. Frank, since you made that executive decision to put your foot into this career, how has it been for you? What has your experience been like being in a male dominated field? Um, the experience has been somewhat challenging at times because most persons don't expect females to be in the IT field. So when you talk about, when you think about IT, you think about just basic computers and basic networking, but IT is way much more than that. And the COVID pandemic has shown us that ITC and IT can change our lives completely so much so that we are post well basically post covid now and some persons don't want to go back to the office yeah understood and you know that's actually one of the questions that i wanted to ask you about in this field is it true that you're really able to work from anywhere yes 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 <laughs> with uh very good internet connection and connected systems, you are able to basically work from anywhere in the world. So one of the things that you just mentioned, if you could clarify for us, there's a difference between IT and ICT, is that correct? Um, ICT, it's the umbrella. Okay. And IT, it's just a part of I ICT. Ah, okay, understood. So. In a sense, of course, we're talking about Tobago as well. What is the reception like of young women? Are they interested in getting involved in this field? Um, I can see from the last STEM program that we had, we had a, a greater number of females that were interested in, in the programming aspect, in the drone science aspect. Because I would say this, at that STEM program that was held in 2018, I was the, um, the lecturer or the teacher for drone technology or drone science technology. And the females who were in my class, they were very excited, very, very excited to learn about the drone technology, learn how to fly a drone, learn how to take apart and put together a drone, learn all the aspects about drone science and drone technology. So yes, the females are coming out. They just need some guidance. And as somebody as myself and the others, we need to guide them, educate them on how they can be better persons in society through technology. 
Well, who better to guide them than a powerful m woman like yourself who is in the profession. Now, you just mentioned being the professor. That is so amazing. And that leads again into another question. So clearly we are in sync this morning, which is what kind of outreach is done in Tobago education wise, perhaps fair wise to get women, young women, children even involved in ICT and even having an interest in the field? Well, currently, well, this is after COVID. So the schools are now back out and we try to go into the schools and encourage females, the young females, especially those in fourth, fifth and sixth form to get into the field. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Don't be afraid to get into a male-dominated field because there's, a, there's no equality. So persons, mm. females, I should say, they don't have to worry about what he will think or what they will think. The IT field is for everyone and anybody can do it. Once you have a very, very good interest in it, you can be guided and education is not a problem. Education is not a problem is such a key statement for something like this because, you know, many times people look at IT or ICT and they automatically think, all right, this is programming and all these different numbers and I really don't know whether or not I'm going to be able to wrap my head around it. But with people like you and, of course, with programs that you would have mentioned as well, it makes it just a little bit easier for young women to get involved in this. Now, you just mentioned, of course, again, I have to just hype on, um, just look at the fact, of course, being a professor... You see, I'm so blown away. I'm jumbling up my words right now. <laughs> so what kind of careers can young women look forward to if they decide to go into this field? Okay, so we have interesting careers in the ICT field. So as I would say again, I am a solutions analyst. Mm -hmm. And... You can either be a solutions analyst, you can be a programmer, you can be a tutor, you can be, um, you can work in the Pearson View department, and that's where you will manage external exams. For example, A plus, Net plus, and all the technical exams that there are out there. You can also be an ICT technician. There's nothing wrong in a female being an ICT technician. Agreed. I mean. You know, one of the things that comes to mind is with International Women's Day, the theme was break the bias. And, you know, I think next year we need to have you on as well because you're definitely breaking those biases. As you just said, there is nothing wrong with a female technician. I mean, I'm just thinking right now here in Trinidad, when we look at corporate Trinidad, for example, many times when you go to the IT department, you see men and it is intimidating. It is intimidating. So, you know, seeing that the younger generation is being trained from a young age and say, all right, this is something that you can do means that, the next generation to come, the future, we're going to see possibly female-dominated industry, which is quite interesting. So right now, what does it look like, the landscape of IT? What would you say, um, men versus women, what's your ratio? Um, I don't want to sound biased. However, I believe that females are coming out. Females mm -hmm. are coming out. And I would put another plug here. When, and when we kept our STEM, when we hosted our STEM program in 2018, we had a lot of females, a lot of young girls being interested in the robotics aspect of the STEM program. And they were very, very interested in programming the robots to do what they want the robots to do. And wow. that was, that's, that point stood out for me because it's interesting to see that females are not shying away anymore. They don't want to just play with dolls and teddy bears. They want to actually get in and do the work. Wonderful. Woman power to the world and to the world of technology as well. Ms. Frank, do you have any closing remarks for Trinidad and Tobago? I would just like to encourage young females out there not because it's a male dominated field, IT is for everyone. COVID has taught us that IT is for everybody from the smallest child to the oldest person. And females should be guided. They should be encouraged to step out of their comfort zone and learn to be creative and innovative so that they themselves can 
reach that mark and obviously break the barrier. Break the barrier. This one, I couldn't agree more. What a powerful conversation this morning, Miss Candine Frank. Thank you so much for being with us on the Now Morning Show. Looking forward to seeing you continue to break barriers and train the younger generation to break those barriers as well. Have a great day. You too. Thank you very much. That was Candy and Frank as we celebrate International Day of Girls in ICT. Stay tuned. This is in our morning show. We have a lot more coming up for you. So get your coffee, perhaps get your tea and settle in because there's a lot more coming up.